I'm out here in beautiful Goa and what better place to be testing out a brand new scooter. This is the Hero Destiny, it's the all new version and it's coming out to the market really soon. So I'm going to be riding around in Goa, taking it out for a spin and in this video we're going to be talking about everything that the new Destiny gets and what it's all about and whether you should buy it or not. So when it comes to the new Hero Destiny 125, it is built around uh, a set of pillars and those pillars are comfort, convenience, mileage, style and safety. And I'm going to get down to each one of these uh, in this video. And I'm going to start with style. So uh, the scooter boasts of a neo retro style. It looks very premium. It's got a really nice uh, touch and finish to it. So we're talking about uh, key elements being the daytime running uh, LEDs. It's got a nice copper toned chrome accents that you find all over. I think uh, uh, when you see it on the black version or the white version, it looks even more premium. And uh, you've got diamond cut alloy wheels and you also get a signature edge-shaped LED tail lamp. But jumping further into the details uh, when it comes to uh, uh, the overall styling and the design of the Destiny 125, you know, we're talking about uh, key elements that sort of just put a smile on your face. One of them being the mirror print badging of Destiny right up front. You don't see it in the chrome, but you know, from a slightly lower angle, uh, it is visible and it is something that's really neat and a nice touch uh, to what they've delivered over here. So, uh, Overall, uh, you also get, uh, like I mentioned already, you get the diamond cut alloy wheels. You also get chrome bar ends uh, on the handlebars. You've got a nice chrome muffler cover uh, over the exhaust. So these are just some of those elements that bring out that premiumness. It's got a nice stance to it. So we're not talking about it being cutting edge when it comes to like a futuristic design, but it does have that upmarket premium feel. So coming to convenience, we're talking about it being a very well proportioned scooter. So they've gotten a lot right with it. And uh, you know, starting up front, you've got a nice two liter water bottle holder. You've got a USB port uh, for easy access, keep your device charged uh, while you're on the move. Pop open the seat, like uh, lift it up and you have a 19 liter space uh, where you can store away uh, knickknacks, you can store away your papers, uh, first aid kit, and it even can keep a full faced helmet in there. You also get a nice little uh, light for the luggage uh, box, which I think is a great touch, uh, especially if you're having to fumble around at night and look for stuff down there that you might have stored away. But uh, moving on, I think one of the highlights for me was the fact that the finish uh, of the underseat space is uh, not been left, it's not been overlooked. Uh, Hero has done a fantastic job here to give it a great finish, a really nice look, and even access to the OBD uh, plug, which they need when they have to service the scooter, has been done very well. And you know, they've really uh, paid a lot of attention to detail. Other elements that you get are obviously uh, the full digital uh, speedometer, you've got Bluetooth connectivity and it also comes with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So those are again just some of the major highlights when it comes to the features uh, on board with Destiny. Now, before I get telling you all about the engine and the performance and what it feels like to ride out here on these Goan roads, let me get on the scooter and show you what it's like to be seated on. Number one, you've got a 770 mm uh, seat height. So I'm a really tall guy, so you can see I can get my leg down very easily while I am seated. It's a very comfortable seat, let me add that. And once you are on board, you've actually got a nice uh, feel to it. So for me, Again, I've got very large feet, so the footwell area is well thought through. It's big enough for uh, people who have size 11 or even size 12 feet. Uh, you can be easily seated on the Destiny. Uh, the overall posture, the riding posture is again uh, typical with uh, most of the scooters that we see today. But Hero has gotten it right. It feels great. You feel nice and comfortable over here. And it also gives you that sort of commanding sort of feel uh, that you do need uh, when you're out on two wheels and uh, puttering around town. So yeah, it feels great. And I quite like the way it feels to be seated on.
Now coming to the engine that powers the Destiny 125. Well, uh, to be exact, it's a 124.6 cc air-cooled four-stroke uh, engine. It delivers nine bhp at about 7,000 rpm, and it has 10.4 newton meters of torque at uh, 5,500 rpm. It is a fuel-injected uh, unit, and you get a CVT uh, clutch. So uh, again, being a gearless. Uh, scooter in that sense. Uh, what you do get is uh, amazing drivability. It's very peppy. It does gradients really well. Even with two passengers on board, uh, it had no trouble uh, climbing up some of the steeper roads that we were on in Goa. And uh, thanks to the nice wide seat and the nice easy seating position, it's a very comfortable uh, scooter to be riding around on. So you've got uh, a telescopic front fork and a single coil suspension, uh, which is a hydraulic type at the rear. And both of these do a wonderful job of soaking up road undulations, keeping you very comfortable, and at the same time, giving you that sense of control uh, while you're out there. So uh, all in all, it's a very comfortable uh, scooter to be on. It's great for uh, your little uh, zippy trips around uh, the city. And I think that that's what it's destined for. So uh, no complaints when it comes to the way it rides, the way it handles, and the way it feels uh, as you uh, make your way around town. Well, with that, I've had a great day out here in Goa. It's always fun to be on two wheels on these nice narrow roads and uh, sort of soak in uh, what this beach town has to offer. I've had a wonderful time and I think that the Destiny lives up to being a great, brilliant premium scooter in the 125cc category. Now, of course, uh, summing it up, it's a uh, something that's well thought through, well engineered, feels great, has the pep, uh, of course is touted to be very fuel efficient and it does tick all the right boxes. We don't have the pricing just yet because the launch is a while away but uh, I do have an inkling feeling that Hero is going to do a wonderful job when it comes to that as well. In case I've left anything out or if you have any questions about the Hero Destiny feel free to write in, drop me a comment. It's my promise and the Motorscribe's promise that we answer every comment that comes in on the channel.